Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more Minecraft. So, I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I have been sick, very sick. And I lost my voice for quite a number of days. So yeah, there's that. Um, as you can probably tell from this first glance around, I've done some upgrading, and things are a little bit different than when you last left. Uh, actually, I'm fairly certain every wing has had some minor tweaks to it. Um, I expanded the tree farm. So we can actually get a sizable number of trees growing in here. And um, so that we can actually, there we go, uh, get a decent amount of wood all at the same time. Um, I also, um, this, this doesn't work right now, so is not actually going to plant or harvest. There's, there's that. <laughs> But <clears throat> it does give us enough. I'll take that too. That, um, what did I? I don't know. No matter. Somehow I missed a couple of them. Anyway, so that's all well and good. Oh, this hasn't changed yet. It will soon enough. This thing is new. This is a market. I uh, craft it with a emerald and then some wool, for wool and for wood. And this will let us buy any seed, so including queen, uh, bees, and name tags and stuff, um, spawns, so a whole bunch of things that we just haven't had access to lately, um, we will have access to now. Um, and so I'll start using that eventually. I really gotta kick this all the way out, like a while out, <laughs> um, and then turn it into maybe a bunch of separate caves, and each cave will be a different farm or something like that. I haven't quite figured it this side yet. I'm gonna do something similar in here where I'm gonna kick this out a little bit, and then just hurl it down this way. And I don't know what exactly up here is gonna be, but like the our tree farm is gonna be down there, and regular farm is gonna be down there. Uh, in here, I have made our this going to be our our nether portal room. I made this up kind of pretty. It's not perfectly pretty, but it's better than it could have been. Um, and so there's the ability to go to the nether. We will do that in this video, by the way. Um, for now, I'm going to throw these in here where they belong, so they can start turning into charcoal, which is powering our our steam and dynamo here. It says it's not making any power, but actually all the power it's making is immediately getting sucked up by these machines. So it's making power, it just doesn't look like it's making power. But uh, it is definitely doing so, so, some stuff. And uh, you can see parts, you know, stuff moving down the back. As everything eventually ends up with something in it. It's just not particularly fast right now because steam dynamos don't produce a ton of energy um, it's 40 RF per tick which is not great I need several of them like four or five before this thing would be chugging at a decent rate and they need to be fed with water steadily so I actually have a machine just below this which is feeding it with water uh, it's also feeding this with water so I can make obsidian um, or any, any of these pretty much unlimited. But, um, yeah. Uh, this is for some other stuff. Mostly the, the atom pipes, which are a lot prettier than the regular pipes we were using, and I just, I like them better, so. I went ahead and made that upgrade. The only real update in here is that I now have the ability to pour things out really fast. So I'm just gonna check this in here and we'll come back to it and I'll, I'll show you how this works in a second but I some, need something inside first um, in the meantime that's pretty much everything as far as what's been changing I think I'm gonna munch on this um, actually you know what I could use I could use an XP um, depository, XP drain, there we go. Okay, let's 
just regular iron bars. And so let's make a liquid XP tank. Let's just make a tank. It's obsidian glass with panes in the middle of it. Deal. We do not have any obsidian. Okay, let's go get some obsidian. So, two of these. I'm going to walk them over to our obsidian generator. We just put them inside there. And it will immediately turn into two blocks of obsidian. We'll do it again, and it'll be two more blocks. And then we'll have our tank. Um, the only reason to do this, by the way, you don't need to. It's not necessary. It's not even something you, you should be considering. Except that I have 40 levels stacked up. I'm going to need these levels at some point. But going into the nether is dangerous, and I'm, there's a high chance of dying. So if I lose these levels, I'm going to be not happy. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Won't be happy. So let's go ahead and see if we can not have that happen, huh? I'll just go ahead with this and that. And then, uh, a tank. Well, two tanks, actually. Um, I'm just going to uh, stash this here for now. Um, that there. Iron bars. Are they a thing that's in one of these chests? I feel like we had some. Oh, we have 14. Oh, good. We do have some. We need nine. I'll get our XP drain. Throw this back. And then just... It's not the place I wanted that, actually. There we go. And so, as I jump on, all my XP will get drained out of me. You know, fill the tank up. Actually, it might fill the entire tank up. Uh, good Lord. That is four levels at level 40. Sorry, sure. Put a second. Hopefully, this takes all my levels. Otherwise, I may just say script. Seriously? Only 10 levels in there? I don't, I don't care. I don't have enough, um, lava to do this again, so whatever. We're just going into the nether. So what we're going to do. Okay, let's light up. Is that not a quest? Is it, oh, it's, you, you get everything. That gives you a quest, oh. Does that mean I had Flint and Steel somewhere? Oh well. Oh, it's an actual nether. Oh, kobold right there. An Ardite. Oh, and blazes. Oh lord, ow, why? Seriously, we popped it on... Uh, is there lava? Actually, I see blazes. I don't see lava. Oh well. We'll just head back through. So. Now we know. We have been in the nether. Um, we need armor, obviously. We need something that helps me resist fire or kill some places so I guess we'll start working on a crossbow next and um, we need the ability to store a bunch of lava so yeah with the ability to store a bunch of lava um, if we can store our 32 buckets of lava worth which I know sounds like a lot but it's really not um, then we can use a magma magmatic dynamo basically an engine Dino. Did I spell that wrong? I probably did. Anyway, yeah, I did. There we go. Um, 
and magnetic dynamo, which requires hot fluid. So it basically works by taking the power from lava and turning it into actual power. And that will get us much better and more consistent power than the steam one, which we have to continually refill. Um, and 32 buckets of lava should last long enough that we can then get a bunch more lava before we run out of it. And um, it'll go a long way towards making this system more infinite and much more efficient. So yeah, that's cool. Also, I was in the middle of just want to finish this up on camera. I did these three, uh, the, which are inscriber presses. This is trying to work our way towards better storage system than all of these drawers everywhere. I just wanted to finish this last one on camera. This is what the uh, induction smelter is for. Just throw the, those two both in. Each one of those other things has taken a block of Envar which is nickel and, and iron together. And that, of course, completes our presses. So now with all the four presses, um, we can start using the inscriber and working our way towards that. And it will. But for now, we're just going to do the end of end of stream, end of video. Here we go. <clears throat> this and uh, claim it. Ooh, actually, there's one last, one last other thing I wanted to do before we ended the video. We started this, uh, the idea of this last time, but we didn't have enough redstone. I got enough redstone, so that is our drawer controller down. And that is this. Claimed. Now we just have to uh, draw a key. And, uh, or drawer keys and our slaves and we'll get to that later but for now yeah uh, let's do this from on top of our pile of awesome over here looking at our experience and what is that oh black lotus right okay nothing amazing but still cool and so yeah thank you all for watching um hopefully by the time you get back i have all my experience in a bucket but um Obviously not right now. And I'll continue working on making this all better and bigger and getting it more uh, looking like it should and maybe printing it up some and creative. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE throughout.